So I just got done taking out Cal's Jumbo Knotless Braids. And look how, like, her hair is so soft and shiny right now. Like, I, my hair would never look this freaking soft. And, uh, like, it looks like a legit braid out that I just did. It's not even, like, dirty and dull looking from having the hair in there. Like, how? How does that happen? Now, her scalp is a little flaky. Look up. Just a little bit. It's not a whole lot, but it looks, it looks good. And I didn't, like, reapply any, like, oils or moisturizers or anything to her hair. She's just been wearing it out other than when I um add edge control but look at her scalp it's not even like dirty or anything like I'm so jealous it looks really good so we're about to uh, wash her hair I just kind of wanted to you got to see like her growth she's sitting down right now and this is her hair Lint check right there at her butt. And so we brought some new products. We will be trying the new Pantene Pro V series sitting right up there on my shelf. Right, right there. We'll be trying those, the shampoo and conditioner, um, and we're going to style her hair into some Bantu knots because I'm kind of curious and I want to see what her hair would look like with some uh, Bantu knot curls in them. And you know, since it's Black History Month, we're going to go ahead and show off some Bantu knots on Cal's gorgeous curly hair. I'm going to begin by washing Kalia's hair with the Pantene Gold Series Moisture Boost Shampoo that is infused with argan oil. Kalia hasn't had a wash day in the past three weeks since she's been wearing her Knotless Jumbo Braids. So if you haven't checked that video out, I will leave a link for you guys to check out how we installed her Jumbo Knotless Box Braids. So um, it has some stylist tips on the back of the bottle, letting you know um, how to uh, use the shampoo correctly. It is a rich, creamy lather, instantly softens and hydrates rough cuticles while gently cleansing to remove product buildup and impurities, promotes optimal hair health and prime hair for styling. So I really like the the lather on this shampoo it doesn't take a whole lot to work it in and then i make sure i massage her scalp really good especially after her protective style for three weeks and i haven't been touching her scalp or hair period so this is going to help bring back that blood flow and then we're going to go in with the conditioner the conditioner which is also infused with argan oil moisturizes and detangles hair for instant softness and strength it's a rich conditioning oils absorbs through the hair for instant softness with radiant shine provides resilient strength and flexibility after the first wash so i definitely enjoyed using this conditioner it definitely to cut her detangling time down and I, I always look for a conditioner that helps me when it comes to detangling so any conditioner that improves detangling and makes it a whole lot easier is a plus one for me so the definition in uh, Kalia's hair after uh, while detangling her hair with the conditioner still in it was just amazing it really did soften her hair and I'm just kind of like fast forwarding through it. When I do detangle Kalia's hair, I make sure I work in small sections. And since she hasn't had her hair brushed at all for the past three weeks, I do expect her shed hair to be a lot. But it actually was about her normal through um, every wash day. So that was how much she had left after we got done brushing out all her hair. So at this point, we rinse out everything and I towel dry it. And now we are going to style it into some Bantu knots. And I will be going in with another Pantene Pro V Go Series product. 
we are all finished with her wash day now it's time to style her bantu knots and i will be going in with a yet another another gold series product and this is the leave on detangling milk so right now i'm just parting her hair into sections so i can prep where exactly i will be putting her bantu knots and the leave on detangling milk which is also infused with argan oil helps detangles and soften curls for easy styling and then it provides you another stylist tip on the back of the bottle saying to always detangle starting at the end of your hair and work your way up to the roots which is the only way i detangle all of my girls hair only way so it also says to apply two pumps to the palm and rub in between palms and then add it to the hair while um smoothing from mid shaft to the ends and then begin finger de uh, combing i probably used about eight eight pumps of this stuff on Kalia's hair granted Kalia does have a lot of hair because i just don't see no two pumps doing anything <laughs> For this child's hair at all so I, I i think i went in with probably about eight and i think i went back and added another five just for good measure and then of course i began detangling by starting at the ends because that's the only proper way to detangle your hair without causing too much tension and stress on the hair so this is where the bantu knots are going to be going in i have one two and three that will be placed on the back of her head and we are going to now go in with a curl defining pudding and this is going to help with reducing frizz and defining her curls now on the back of this one it says a little goes a long way and that i agree with on this product i probably added about a dime size amount to this one little section and it pulled all the definition out into kalia's hair look at those juicy curls so i think i have a new wash and go product for when the weather finally gets warm for kalia because this looks absolutely gorgeous so when doing your bantu knots the key is to not make these knots too tight unwanted and unneeded tension and stress on the hair can cause a lot of breakage and damage so the best way to do this is to do it as loosely as possible and how do you know you're doing it as loose as possible ask your client be like hey does this feel like it may be a little too tight if they saying yeah it's probably a little too tight now when it comes to my kids you know they usually aren't too verbal and let me know that hey mommy you pulling my hair a little too much so they usually start squirming if they squirming and moving and you know ducking and dodging from you doing their hair is probably a little too tight so i try to make sure to apply these knots as loosely as possible and i even ask kalia if they um felt a little too tight and if she said yes we go back and redo it to make it a little looser so i'm then going to secure these bantu knots with either a rubber band or a bobby pin um some of them i did with a rubber band some of them i did with a bobby pin just i, I guess it depends on what was closest to me at the time and we are going to leave these in for a couple of days um she'll just be rocking the bantu knots uh when i'm not really doing these knots to get her the bantu knot curls even though i know those would look absolutely gorgeous on her when you want those bantu knot curls it's probably best to perform the knots on dry blow dried hair so your, your hair needs to already be dry with minimal product in it and blow dried kalia's hair is soaking wet so we're only doing these knots for the case of just having bantu knots in her hair because i'm pretty sure once i take them out they're just not they're not going to look as nice and uniformed as you would expect your bantu knot curls to come out with that nice spiral curl with it being her hair being wet it's, it's just not going to look like that so these are just to have her walking around as a in bantu knot styles we're not taking them out for them to be curls 
I know y'all probably like, dang, she doing a lot of talking. She just be quiet and I can just watch and see what she doing. Well, no, that's not that's not what we do here on the Pom Pasta Sister YouTube channel. We like to explain and, and give you as much detailed information as possible when it comes to styling your hair. Because I don't want nobody sending me no messages talking about something. It didn't work and I couldn't get it right. I'm going to go over everything as much as possible so that you have as much information if you try to style your own child's hair into these Bantu knots. So I'm gonna go ahead and be quiet for now, but just just know that most of my tutorials, I, I do a lot of talking. I like to talk. I bought this nice, expensive uh, equipment to use so I could talk and you could hear me very clearly. So I'm gonna use it. And you know what? I just, I feel like, I'm, I'm going to say this real quick. I'm going to get it off my chest. I feel like Bantu Knots don't be getting the love that they really deserve. Bantu Knots can look so freaking cute. And I think they look absolutely adorable on little kids. And, um, you know, just, I, that they're, they're so cute on her. Just look at her. Look at, look at my baby. Look at my baby. She's just so cute. So we're going to lay her edges real quick, add a couple of jewels in there, take a quick snapshot of her hair so y'all can see. But it, it looks really good. I, I love Bantu Knots. All right, and that is to end our video for Kalia's Bantu Knots. Thank you for tuning in with us today. Make sure to like our video, subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't already, follow us on our other social media platforms. We are on Instagram and Facebook. And we will see y'all on our next video.